today on Crime Watch Roadshow. Who's looking over your shoulder? The cash machine scam leaving customers seriously out of pocket. Welcome to Crime Watch Road Show. We're live again this morning and raring to go. We need your help to put crooks behind bars. On the programme today. This tiny device is all they need. How thieves steal your card at the cash machine. Getting gangs and guns off the streets. How West Midlands police and parents are tackling gang culture. And a botched robbery at a bookies. Help us catch these bungling burglars. Our roadshow team are travelling the country, and today they're in Balsall Common, just southwest of Birmingham. And I hear you've got a few local celebs with you today, Sean. Morning, Rav. I have forget Pop Idol because today we're talking. Pup Idol. Here at this training centre, West Midlands Police are training gorgeous puppies like Pilgrim here to be the specialist search dogs of the future. We're going to be meeting more furry fellows like this one and finding out which is top dog. <laughs> now, if you're not careful when you use the hole in the wall, you could end up with a big hole in your bank account. In Britain, we took a staggering 194 billion pounds out of cash machines last year. And there's one particular cash point scam that's now leaving many massively out of pocket. I'd used the cash point, you know, many, many times and nothing like this had ever happened. But obviously I was at there at the wrong time, wrong place. Charity Casely from Wolverhampton is very careful when it comes to her hard-earned cash. In February of this year, she decided to pop to her local ATM to check her bank balance. I was just minding my own business that day, and I just thought, you know, I, I, was, I just went, went to the cash point, and, you know, just as I normally would. She wasn't planning on taking any money from her account, but somebody else was. Well, I'd noticed it. He was wearing, a, like, a blue, dark blue Adidas top. While Charity was punching in her pin to get her balance, a man started loitering and looking over her shoulder. Are you having problems? He's taking my card and I just can't get it back. Her card was completely stuck inside the machine, and that was because Crooks had fitted the ATM with a device known as a Lebanese loop. I thought it had been taken by the bank. I didn't realise this chap had put something in the machine. The man behind her was still there looking over her shoulder, seemingly trying to help. He claimed that he worked inside and suggested she go with him to try to get it sorted. He walked me around the back here, pretending he was the cleaner and he was he'd, like he'd, we'd gone to the back door that, you know, obviously somebody then must have took my card then. That must have been when my card had gone. The seemingly helpful man just disappeared and a bewildered charity had to get to work. We believe an accomplice has taken her card from the machine with the device and then using her PIN number they've gone on to uh, use the card and withdraw cash. <laughs> The reason it's called a Lebanese loop is because of its high use by uh, Lebanese organised crime gangs in, in the country. The perpetrators will get the um, device, which is very similar to this very small uh, metal object, with the loop attached to the back. They'll then place the device into the slot on the cash machine, pushing it all the way in. So the only bit you will see is this very small metal bit at the front. They will then wait for uh, a victim to come along to the machine. They'll watch them enter the pin number. When the victim walks away from the machine, they'll remove the device from the front, which will bring the card out. Um, they will then go on to uh, use the card withdrawing cash and uh, going shopping with it. 
sometimes they will wait near to the cash point, very close to it. Other times they will stand off at distance, wait for someone to cut, put their card in and then approach. They will then um, offer that to help the, the victim. Well, they took about £700 out of my account. I went to see a neighbour who lives in the street and I was in floods of tears. Now this has happened, I do feel a bit like, you know, I'm, I'm a bit more aware of people and a bit more not as trusting with people as I used to, obviously used to be.